The Braves' comeback win in Game 2 of the NLDS to even the series at 1-1 was nuts. Now the series is here in Philly at the notoriously loud Citizens Bank Park. And you can bet this place is going to make for a rowdy and ruckus environment for Game 3 Wednesday night. Reliever A.J. Minter called this place the loudest stadium he's ever been in, talking about last year's NLDS. But a lot of Braves players have actually said they thrive in that kind of hostile environment. They don't mind being booed. Plus, it gives you the chance to silence the opposing team's fans. I like it. I like it. It's a fun place to play. I feel like I can really focus there. I feel like the fans are really engaged and into it, and I feel like they boo me every time that I go up to my, but I feel like that helps. It helps me focus more. I mean, we, we know Philly fans. We know them pretty well, and, um, you know, they're passionate for their team, and so are we, but it's definitely going to be um, it's going to be chaotic. It's going to be loud, and uh, we just have to be ready for it. And there's nothing better, obviously, than pitching at home and, you know, having a super – you know, loud crowd, but there's nothing better than shutting up a crowd as well um, on the road. So um, that's what I enjoy doing is, you know, silencing a crowd and uh, hopefully I get a chance to do it. Tuesday was a travel day and an off day for Braves players. But one question that Braves manager Brian Snitker hasn't answered publicly yet is who will start on the mound for the Braves in game three. And honestly, there's a couple different ways they could take this thing. They could give 20 year old AJ Smith Shaver his first postseason start in a pretty hostile environment. They could go with Bryce Alder, who's got more experience, but struggled toward the end of the regular season, or they could use an opener. The last we spoke with Snit, all those options were still on the table. Lengthwise, who's, you know, we have some options. Guys that, you know, just, there's a, you know, there's a lot of things. It's like I said, if we want to do an opener, who we're going to follow up with if we decide to do that. If we want to just uh, go the traditional route or, you know, there's just a lot of different scenarios that we're looking at.